Good afternoon. My name is Virginia Howell, and I'd like to welcome you to our talk this afternoon on a story of forgotten hanji, Korean traditional handmade paper. Dr. Oh Kyu Lee will be speaking to us today to discuss a couple of different methods of historical hanji paper making and answer some questions about the process. We are delighted to have Dr. Lee and his um, compatriots from his lab here with us today to share with us about hanji and paper making. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. And I just, uh, you know, she just introduced me. My name is Oki Lee. And um, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Director Howard for uh, allowing me and my colleagues to have here. And Actually, it's my great pleasure to have my presentation in this museum um, founded by Dr. Hunter, who is the greatest uh, the paper researcher. So uh, this is my uh, topic today. With my huge admiration for Dr. Hunter, I've, I've never met him, paper researcher, uh, in person. But I felt like I met him. In his book, he loved Korean way of paper making, and he felt sympathy for Korean who mm -hmm. lost their country at the time. The pictures are, I mean, the there's the Dad Hunter's picture in the center of the two older people, and this is taken in 1933 in Korea in Eun So I mean, also the right one is. Uh, picture of her, the Korean paper making picture and the other one is the book he wrote titled A Paper Making the Pilgrimage to Japan, Japan, Korea and China. So this content. Next. So what is Hanji? Hanji simply refers to Korean traditional paper. Han is a revision of the Han Min book or Han book, which means Korean. And Ji means Paper in Korea. And what's general? Although various plant plants have been used for additives, the major source material is a past fiber from Rosinacea kazimoto, which is a cousin of paper matter. And the other one is Hanji is famous for its tenacity due to a unique paper making technique, which I talk later. And Hanji is a um, cultural warehouse. These are all uh, Korean herbies. And the upper one is old, the world oldest wood block printing. And also, world oldest metal movable type printing is also Korean. And the other one is also very uh, important Korean archivist. Korea has uh, presently 16 memory of the world by UNESCO, and this is first place in Pacific Asian countries, and those are all uh, the memory of the world. And how the paper making technology propagates, and firstly, the paper making technology invented in China in about the second century, and then from second century to fifth century, it came into Korea, and then transport to Japan in about the 17th century. To Europe, through the Central Asia, it uh, transported to Europe about 11th century. So uh, next one is uh, Hanji and nation's name of Korean history. Korea have about more than 4,300 years of history. And the first nation's name was gojo -san. And later that is divided into three countries, which is Shilla, Goguryeo, and, and Baekje. And right after that time, paper was invented in Japan, in, in China. Then after some time, it reunited to two countries, like Shilla and Palhe. And sometimes later, it, uh, the Goryeo dynasty is started. And after that, Joseon dynasty, and right now is uh, Angok, which is Korea. So the paper name of the 
paper names or after the nation's name. So after the Shilla's uh, nickname was uh, Gerim. So Gerim that time is called, the Chinese called is Gerim Ji. And during the Goryeo dynasty, they called it Goryeo Ji and Joseon Ji. And right now we call it Han Ji. What about the reputation? The, the beginning of the uh, year from the Gerim Ji, it was a uh, Chinese uh, recording that Gerim Ji is very high quality of people. Then in during Goryeo dynasty, was uh, very famous. So a lot of a lot of uh, recording on um, Song Dynasty in China indicate that Goryeoji is the best paper at the time. And then they uh, it like uh, still get very good reputation before Japanese invaded Korea in 1592. And that time, almost everything was uh, devoted. Collapsed, including paper, paper, paper making devices and uh, technologies. So the reputation is very getting worse and worse. And later, the passing of time during the we had a seven years of war between two countries. And then, and later, uh, the paper industry says what they got better. Then sometimes later, 1910, Japan invaded again. And they took Korea about 36 years. And that time was the worst era of Hanjin history. Then um, passing many years, and at this point, we have uh, like a, we, uh, the, the, the reputation is getting better now. So even China's in Ming and Qing dynasty, and modern China still use Korea. For Korean uh, traditional paper. Although this is not Korean uh, dynasty anymore. By the way, the Korea is the, the origin of Korea. And this is uh, like uh, what Dadran think about Hanji. Is, uh, this is uh, the picture from his book. And he said Korean paper have always had their um, own special characters due largely to the mold and their techniques. And also, uh, we think Japanese try to um, teach their way of paper making to Korea, but uh, he didn't like it because after some time, Korean paper and Japanese paper would be the same. And Korea quickly lost their characters, characters, character so he said, I'm glad that I was privileged to see the old paper released in Hongbei, which is Unkyong in Korea, and other paper making districts in Korea before the eventual change takes place. So those are the pictures. The upper two, two pictures taken by Dada in 1933, and below ones that recent exactly the same places and has been changed a lot. And color is even brighter and colorful. So Hanji became famous again these days. Especially recently, Hanji has been getting a lot of attention worldwide again. Especially ICPAL, one of the Italian government institutes, have used Hanji for uh, restoration of their national heritage, like the Codex on Flight of Birds, written by Leonardo da Vinci, and six more. So as uh, Pope John XIII's club in Vatican, yeah, and draw of the, the desk of King Maximilian II of Bavaria in Wu in France, and as fixed with Hanji. This is the, the that uh, desk, and the lady in black is a former Korean first lady, and next one is French. So, what 
what is the paper making technology in this case? So most important device is motor. So I'm going to talk about motor. So these are the primitive types of motor. The left one is a woven cloth motor, which I saw in the museum this morning. And the left, the, the other one is wet mold. And, and, and later sometimes the primitive continue the con container type the change into container type mold. And with the, the decker stick one, decker. The Japanese one has fixed four side of fixed decker and Korean one and Chinese one has decker sticks. And the Aki, uh, the, the two sides of mold cover they act as uh, another size of the decker sticks. So that's how it works. Okay. Then now, uh, many years pass, then later the mold type has changed. Then um, China, their type is still uh, very similar to the premier, primitive type still they use. Japanese, they also similar, but they put hinges on the fixed the decal frame and put two handles on. But in Korea, they're totally different. They just eliminate any decal stick or decal. So now in Korea, paper making technology is decal sticks is disappeared. So this device without decal makes the Hanji technology very special. The name of it is Han Kulintugi. This is major Korean paper making technology and very unique and invented by Korea. And Kulintugi means making paper by flowing down the mixture on the mold curve. In the picture, his name is uh, Hyun Se Shin. He is a Korean designated uh, Hanji making master of national and tangible cultural heritage. And using the combination of mold cover and mold, and scoop the pulp from in front, then lift it up, lift up, then so that the pulp mixture flow down far to, uh, toward the other side. And next, scoop it from the left or right so that the, the data, so the mixture flow to the other side. And after that, they take mold cover in the, the top of the picture and from the mold and then place opposite of mold cover on top of the table, which is the second picture. And then, Second is all one. And then uh, using wooden method, the fourth, fourth one, they use uh, the wall on it and then softly press it so that the wet paper sheet remains on top of the table. Like that. And then later, every single wet paper will be drying on wooden paper like that. That is how Hanji. In this process, fibers placed on the mold cover in straight shape. The red arrow is uh, the rift, rift direction. The blue arrows are uh, fiber directions. So first, the worker scoop the mixture of pulp and then lift it up. Then the, the fiber will uh, Direct like that in the first picture. And then later, when they uh, drag like the, from left to right, the fiber uh, placed like that. So that the third one is the other side of the, of the direction. So it makes the pulp is uh, crossed each other, laminated towards each other. And then this cross the fiber direction provides Hanji's tennis which is one of the outstanding for the country. And I'll show you about that uh, process. Originally it was very long, but uh, I made it very short. Mm -hmm. So first we cut the, the top, that means uh, the brochure, 
approximation of kinetic heat, and then steaming the pie like there and cover with uh, things like that and under the water vapor to boil the water. When it got the uh, peeling the bark. And scraping out of bark to make the white dish bark. It's called bakti in Korean. And dry for the sewage. And at, so just before they use, they just put it in the uh, stream to get some light bleaching. And then uh, another uh, in the preparation of ingredients, they have to make ash out of the agricultural byproduct to make lye solution. The lye is made of this, um, that thing. Then uh, they put it in there. This is how lye make, lye made, made with hot water on it. And then water comes through. Then uh, this one is the lye, which is a cooking material for the, the duck. They boil. Like that. And after boiling, they wash it. There is alkali, so they have to wash the alkali off. Then uh, later, uh, every single small impurity has to be removed from the bark by hand. This is really tedious work. And then, to make fiber, they made, they made that. And also for another ingredient, which is uh, the mucilage, they make this called pakpo. They add into the mixture like that. Then this is the, the mold color, and that is called the pillow. So this is the first scooping, and side to side, and the other side. And there is no decoristic or deco, no. Then many fibers were already on top of that, that mold color. Press like that. And take that off. Then every single wet paper, take like that off. Then dry on wood. And after that, to make flat, uh, flat the paper the surface has to be pounded like this. And this is not very um, traditional method, but uh, adopted the power, but it's exactly the theory is exactly. So this is the kanji. And after quality, quality test, they make the that is how kanji. So I'd like to introduce another technique of kanji. It's called nyengji. And you just saw how kanji made. But uh, actually, worker, when worker scoop the, the, the mixture from front to the other side, water didn't come out straight away. But it just spreads to <coughs> both sides. It makes one side thick and one side thin. So they didn't want to have this kind of paper. So what they thought was two of them, they make two of them and then flip another one and then combine together to make one single paper, the sheet of paper, to have the same thickness both sides. So this is another technique. 
So, um, you know, the, you can see the mold curve there. From the middle, you can see the middle. The bamboo strips are bound in different ways, not the straight way. There is a, like a bound stream makes water mass. Okay, perfect. Next one. And this is the case. The upper one is good case, and the lower one is bad case. For a good case, make first the wet, sh wet sheet of paper, and then the second one is a superimposed like that, and then made a straight one stretch line. Mm. Then if worker made a mistake, then uh, they just put it in the same direction. It has like a that kind of watermarks, and we have the real aspect like this. So the other one is this is from 1672. They want to 1881. So at least we have this uh, technology at least before about 350 years ago. So, so that was the basic uh, knowledge of Hanji. And based on that, we try to recover how to make graph Hanji. There were more than 200 types of hanji, depending on source of your size and usage, etc. However, only a few of them are known how to make these things. And also, only 19 hanji workshops is survived in Korea at this time. And so, recently, the Korean National Institute of Forest Science, where I served, uh, <coughs> and the uh, corporate group discuss how to make two types of hanji, which is teji and shiji. Why? Teji is known as one of beautiful hanji, but the source material is unclear in the literature. In case, in case of shiji, shiji is high quality, thick and big paper for examination in the past, in the past but no Manufacturing process process is known. The severe sur surveys like examination to select a uh, power output started in year 1958 and ended in 1910 in Korea. So this test was you know, long about more than 900, 900 years in Korea. So, Heji. Heji mentioned first in uh, 1541 in Korean literature. And some documents say the, the additive, which is the, shows the hairy, hair like a design, um, was most like a green plants growing in fresh water, while some other documents say it was the one growing in seawater. In case of the other hunter, in his work, he said that is growing in sea, in sea so it's a seaweed. So uh, you can see the, the hair, hair like shape, and it's actually greenish. It's, that is a cat. So this is the example of yeah. But as it says, uh, most like a green plant is the. Added in this uh, in, as an ingredient, but from our research, this is the most. The shape is totally different from the filamentary shape, so it couldn't be the one in Haiti. Then what is it? So we had to we had to collect the Haiti artifact. Uh, it wasn't easy, but. Uh, Fortunately, we, we could see 26 examples of Heji, and we took uh, the, we magnetized the structure of the surface. And as you see, there's a green uh, planetary structure, and there's a uh, the red arrow says um, there's a there's a war between the cells. So we collected um, similar shape of uh, filamentary uh, 
um, green algae, one from fresh water and two from uh, seawater. And the one in fresh water is uh, water silk. As you see, it has a wall between cells and the chloroplast uh, went around and goes around the wall. And the other one has uh, a branching leaf but doesn't have a wall between cells. And the other one doesn't have any branching and any wall between cells. So first, we tested how does it look like when we make paper ripples? So our first one has um, first one is a water seal and the other the other two are the sea weeds. As you see, water silk appears very uh, even thickness, but the other one doesn't very uneven. And when we took uh, the picture of artifact. They all have very even thickness groups. So we finally decided that is uh, the water silk. The head is water silk. Then uh, we just uh, saw that the water silk shape is like that. Doesn't look like uh, the shape in, in artifact. But after some time, it dries off. Then when it dries, it collapsed. The, the cylindrical structure is collectively flat. When it gets flat, the cluster, clone cluster, shape like that, like in artifact. So we decided this is it, the water cell. So on that theory, we did. And, and oh, before talking about that, then I don't to make mistake because this is the Teji key added in this book titled A Pigment Pigment to Japan and Korea, China. And this is the picture that I took from that. And that's his explanation. Teji is the best picture in, in the doing that day. And then the paper I landed for seaweed. That's wrong. But I think when he visited Korea, he brought uh, one Japanese translator and who, uh, who were not in like, a, he's not a paper person. He didn't know anything about paper. But just uh, he, I don't know how uh, he put those kind of uh, explanation there. Maybe a translator hears from somebody and then that's so in his book some parts are like that there are some kind of mystery like this so that's why i chose to do that so from those kind of uh, days we, we made pitching and first we had to collect the, the water seal and then put it in a mix with pop which is uh, and then uh, we made three, three kind of kitchen. So this is uh, the content, the uh, weight of water seal, and this is alcohol. This is, so we had those 22.4 20, 20, 20, gram and 10.8 gram and 5.8 gram, and then uh, the design. And you see the shape of the, the, the water silk it wasn't straight down, right? But when when uh, goes to the, the sideway, both sides. So this is very good uh, example how the, the fiber direction goes. Next, Shiji. Shiji is uh, at the time in the past, person who taking the civil service exam should bring their own exam. So Shiji is usually very big and has very high density. But uh, no Hanji or workshop in Korea makes Shiji. 
due to lack of demand for a long time. And after that, no one knew how to make GG before power and fiscal. So this is uh, the example of GG. And one is, well, the, there are two types. One type is longitudinal uh, direction of time, and the other is transverse time, like this. And as you see, the trend, transverse type is combined of two papers. So first, we'll, we need only one type of uh, paper, like a longitudinal type, to make the transverse type. We just simply sketch it. So we, we finally decided um, the paper making method is the longitudinal method. So uh, we also uh, analyze CG artifact. There were 889 digitalized CG artifacts in Central uh, Korean Student Museum. 267 artifacts among them were provided for ocean year and size. So the traverse type, traverse type was 23, 20, 30, and longitudinal type was 37. Also, real. CG, 33 CG artifacts uh, were uh, lent for free. So uh, there was traverse type of 6 and longitudinal type of 26. It is fine that, uh, as I told before, and the traverse type CG is composed of two or more longitudinal type of CG. And it indicates that CG is made only to shape. of analysis, the average size of density and density of CG uh, as the below. The average size is 81 and 124 by 0.34 millimeters and pretty big. It means they cannot make by 1%. They had to. They had to. Uh, they need on um, at least a copy like a 15 picture. And the density was 47. It means um, it should be pressed or pounded flat. So we found that she must be made of two orders with its size. And any, anyway, this picture is taken by Dr. Kuhl. And another one. Also, um, the surface of she seemed to be uh, treated with something like starch as described in the, in the document about high and perfect and pointed. From the result of uh, iodine, iodine test of CG, it is revealed that CG was treated with starch that uh, composed of amylose and allopectin. So um, in that case, it, from iodine test, it, it uh, appeared very uh, dark blue with uh, like the third one. So this is the theory. Um, iodine, iodine ion, uh, when it forms, they get into an, the structure of animals like this. And it shows the dark blue color. The sun starch is only composed uh, on, with only amylopectin. Very sticky one is 100% amylopectin. So it did really show like a very dark brown color. So it means Korean artifact, they treated the starch have amylose. So that is our research region. So also we made three, three types of uh, CG with Olympic technique in two person. So there were four layers and to make thick paper, we made four layers and eight millimeter and 12 layer sheet. And also that kind of thick paper, we couldn't dry on, on, on wooden panel, but in the air, like a, in the middle, picture in the middle, and then pounded like this. 
So this is first report in in, in uh, under the story of two person at the uh, American country like that. So this book is uh, what we published. And everything I explained today is in this book. And I would like to donate this book to the Georgia Tech Library Group. So that's my talk today. And if you have any, any questions, I'm welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So since you um, identified the, the source of the, the fiber, that it's a freshwater plant as opposed to seaweed, um, what sort of, what's the next step? Are you looking to have, to bring this back to commercial production, to uh, reintroduce hand paper making techniques using it? What do you see happening next? Yeah, that's a very good question. And the purpose of our research is we are not uh, the businessmen, we are researching. So, but um, as I mentioned before, Teji was a very famous in the medicine, in the real fish. There is no, no, they didn't know what real uh, source material is. So uh, we found it and we proved it, then uh, made the menu like this. Mm -hmm. And then we opened the menu for anybody in this including. So, now, as I told you, only 19 workshops is left in Korea. And uh, if they have more kind of hanji they can make, they can make a book, the hanji market broader. Mm -hmm. So that is uh, the, the, we, we, the happening that we will see. I was wondering where the water silk grows. Does it grow in lakes? Ponds, still water, is it flowing water like a stream or high up in the mountains or low elevations, or does it just grow every place in Korea? Yeah, actually, uh, it is. And in Korea, in Indonesia, culture, there was like 45 kinds of uh, water silk. Oh, wow. And even in the United States, thousand kind of, I think. <laughs> but uh, it, I didn't show in this. Uh, slide but in it is in my book it has uh, their own shape the uh, size the thickness and some kind of uh, water silk is very thick and some kind of very thin so usually uh, in in the, the water like a stream in water stream in fast in stream it is very very thick very I'm um, very thin it, it is not good uh, material for Teji. But the one grow in the still water and very cold still water in the mountain, and, and very thick and long, and it gives very good design for Teji. So we use the, those kinds of water silk. Thank you. Thank you. Do you plan on um, Search, researching another, uh, so you mentioned there were 200 different kinds of paper, and so you've I, identified two. Mm -hmm. So, do you, do you have a list? Like, this is number three, what we're going to go for next? Yes, you already knew it. <laughs> Actually, we started last year, mm -hmm. and this is the second year for that. Uh, that is, I think, um, dyeing the paper. Okay. Which is uh, very um, variable paper, indigo paper. Mm -hmm. And for natural indigo dye, is really, really, really difficult. Okay. So last year we succeeded maybe half, and this, <laughs> this year we're gonna pull the another half so, to make the real uh, indigo paper. Okay. So for the um, mm -hmm. the current paper makers, are they actively trying to reach out to young, younger, like to keep it going? Like what 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 are they doing to try and keep this going? 
that's really, really important that point that you make. Yeah, actually, I think it happened in every world in the world now. Younger people, they don't want to do those kind of tedious job with the lower wage. So it is really hard. Younger, not many young people do like that, that job. So now the government has to do find young people to make those kind of teachers. And in case of the, the master degree, master, the government support him to have one young uh, master student under him. And government paid him a certain amount of money. And those kind of thing is like uh, how young people getting into those kind of stuff. So it is happening, but it's not very actively. Yeah. Well, yeah. Thank you so much.